Hey, my friends. How y'all doing, my little squeak cake? So we're doing love readings. So if you're not, you're in a happy relationship, then this probably won't be for you, but this is for love readings. So this is basically for people who are separated, single, just mainly who it's for, but if you were drawn to it, maybe it's for you, okay? So we're gonna start with Aries in love. We're gonna find out in love what's going on with you, Aries, and your person. So let's see what's going on, sweet spirit. If you please guide me with Aries, what's going on with your person, please? What's going on with Aries person, please? Hope you're doing well, sweet whore. All right, so that landed, that landed this way. All right, so some of you could be dealing with the King of Swords, Aries. Five of Swords. All right, for some of you, Aries, I feel like there's somebody that wants to win you back, okay? Whoever I'm picking up on today, somebody wants to win you back. Let's see more what's going on here. Some of you, this could be somebody you do want or you don't want because some of you got more than one, okay? One of you, is, one of them is determined. For those of you who have know you have two, one of them is determined. They're going to get you back. And the other one is kind of gave up on it. Yeah, there's some type of expansion here. Somebody has expansion, gratitude for you. Somebody also, somebody could be pregnant here as well. Or somebody is like, um, yeah, somebody's definitely pregnant here. There's a pregnancy in this situation some kind of way. I don't know if that's your person that you're dealing with or if that's your person. like, Or if that's the person you're dealing with, they have somebody pregnant. That could be this the... That could be going on. I also am getting that was an issue for some of you. Some of, some of you, somebody was... Your person could have either had someone pregnant or someone was trying to pin them with a pregnancy. But I feel like this person wants to get away from someone. This could be the mother of their children um, or they blended a family or something or, and they're not their children as well. They could be like the person's children, but not theirs, if I'm making sense. But I definitely see like somebody wants to come back. I want to see if they're going to though. What are they doing? What are their next moves? Next moves to spirit. Three of Pentacles. So they're trying to work with someone here. They're trying to work with someone. They're getting help in this situation. Somebody's somebody might be stuck in a situation, or somebody doesn't want to let them go. Ten of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this could this could have something to do with money. Somebody could be trying to hold someone up because of money. Could be holding you up because of money, or someone could be holding up your person for some type of money. Why do I get the feeling there's I've got somebody in here. There's a few of y'all in here where you got your person. I've got some divine partners too. I'm hearing that clearly. Your person has somebody trying to hang on to them for financial gain. And then there's someone trying to hang on to you for financial gain. Okay? So I'm getting that as well for some of you Aries. But the main thing that I see, the main thing is this person wants to get back to you by any means necessary. Okay? They are determined. They want to get back to you. They're working with Looks like some people. I'm also feeling a hiding, like somebody's trying to hide from somebody. So somebody's trying to hide from somebody. Ain't that crazy? Okay. Well, yeah, if they're trying to hide from somebody and there's something about a pregnancy or a birth or something here. But that's what I'm getting. All right, let's move on to uh, Leo. I'm trying not to forget no signs. I forgot some signs last time. Leo 421. Sweet Spirit, what's going on with Leo? What's going on with Leo? Okay, Leo, you're dealing with the King of Pentacles or a King of Pentacles energy here. Most of y'all are women, so I'm going to assume that it's a man. But if you're a man, then, you know, switch it the way you need to. I do see the Fool card. So there's something about beginning again here. Leo, let me see. Clarify. Clarify. 
I feel like somebody though, they can, they're going to start over. Either you or this person, they're just going to start over. Knight of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like Leo, you got somebody who's going to, um, they're just going to go ahead and move on. Some of you, it's because they're too worried about financial woes or worries. I'm also hearing Papa was a rolling stone for somebody. But the main thing I'm getting here is this person, this person wants to begin again. And there's something about, yeah, they want to start over. They want to start off over with new stability. I guess they feel like things are not working out between the two of you. At least this is the way they are feeling about it. So they're feeling like they want to go forward anew. But I feel like they got an issue with materialism. Okay, there's a lot of pinnacles here. I feel like they have an issue with materialism. They probably put work ahead of you or finances be before you or not even just you, but this is just the way they do in life. That's just who they are. And they're not quite ready to change from that. Some of you, this person, you, someone you're ready. I feel like there's some of you Leos, you're ready to settle down, but this person's not ready to settle down because they're like either, oh, my money's not right, or I need to do this, I need to do that. Some of you, it's just an excuse. Others of you, like they really are just that caught up on financial stuff um, over love. So yeah, there's that. All right, Sagittarius. Let's go to Sagittarius in love, sweet spirit. All of a sudden, I'm getting restless, and my back's getting restless, Sagittarius. You getting restless? Or someone gotten restless with you? I feel like somebody's gotten restless with you. Like you won't cave in. Hold on one second here, Sagittarius. What's wrong with Sagittarius? Okay. So we've got the five of pentacles here. Yeah, somebody's feeling, I've heard that song clearly. Lost without you, can't help love. So somebody feels so lost without you. They feel like they're going to be in poverty without you. Like spiritual poverty, mental poverty, physical poverty. Because they see you as, I'm hearing the whole bag. Who's saying that? They see you as a whole thing. Yeah, something's ending. A wheel of fortune here. So I feel like, Sagittarius, somebody's finally going to let this go. They're giving up. I feel like you weren't giving in. So that's why somebody is giving up. I feel too, Sagittarius, you're going to be meeting oh, somebody new. That's too many. Let me see what else is going on, Sagittarius. Let me switch decks real quick. And I feel like somebody knows you're going to meet somebody new. It's your destiny or something. Yeah, this cycle is closing. If you've been going through, yep, I just said destiny. You're going on to your quest. Sagittarius, I feel like you're not waiting on this situation anymore. You're not waiting on this person. You're like divine partner or twin flame. I don't give a damn what it may be but as far as i'm concerned it's a done deal for me so sagittarius you're going yeah dang and you got destiny sagittarius you're going on your quest you're going on your quest sagittarius i feel like you're going to meet somebody entirely new who is this sagittarius is meeting sagittarius i don't think you expect this it's going to be like happenstance it's going to be weird how it happens yeah so whoever you're meeting this person is a hard worker some of you got somebody watching you too. Somebody that's a hard worker that's watching you. You don't know this person. I'm telling you, you're going to be shocked. You'll be like, you've been watching me all this time. I don't know why they've been watching you. It's not in a weird way. It's not weird or anything like that. It could be something, I don't know. For one person, there could be definitely somebody who is investigating you for somebody else. And fell in love with you. I know it sounds like a Cinderella story, but I am getting that for at least one person. But there's definitely somebody, whoever's coming in, they're a hard worker just like you. And they too have been through a lot. So they can, I'm hearing they can relate to your story. Sagittarius, I'm telling you, you don't know who this is. 
you don't you do not see this coming this is like a surprise i'm also getting from the divine this is a gift from the divine you may be thinking it may be somebody from the past but it ain't your cycles are complete with everybody everybody from the past is dead it's done and I feel like there are some people that missed out on great opportunities with you. And some of you, it could have been a twin flame, could have been a twin, a divine partner, but they did not show up. This is you guys, twin flames don't always have to show up. This is still about choice. God's not going to force you or his divine source, he, she, or whatever you believe in, is never going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. So for whatever reason, the right one is going to come in, okay? You're off your quest, but this is beautiful. I'm telling you, Sagittarius, whatever's going to go on with you, it's about to be good for you. I'm here in heaven. Your life is going to be so much better. Whoever I'm talking to, you went through a lot, especially in relationships. It just didn't seem to fit with any of these people. But Sagittarius, you were just different. Whoever this Sagittarius is, you're different. You could have been a sage, a healer, a shaman, or whatever it is. It just, it, it just wasn't supposed to... I'm here and hit different. Okay. So whatever. But um, somebody knew. Okay. So there goes that Sagittarius. And I even knocked the little microphone. My little afro. I call it a little afro for the microphone. I know. That's weird. All right. So let's move on to, let's go to air signs. Air signs. And sweet spirit, I pray I don't forget nobody. Thank you so much, um, Sagittarius. And Aries, if you're still here, I forgot to say thank you. Thank you for watching thank you for your support all right so let's take a look what's going on with the air signs we'll start off with gemini what's going on hold on y'all let me make sure my cards aren't reversed these are and i don't know why this is in here because it shouldn't be just give me a minute so gemini are things like kind of topsy-turvy things are mixed up for you because all of a sudden all my cars look fine and now i'm looking at them and they like all over the place and i don't know why because they shouldn't be i hadn't touched them in a while but anyway are things out of out of i'm also even out of control so something someone gemini you may feel like somebody's out of control right and then some of you could be dealing with somebody um Gemini's, it's like they feel like they run you, own you, or however this goes. Cross watcher, this could be, you know, how this goes. But like, you're out of control. You're not doing what I expect you to do. Why are you not? Somebody's also doing a Sagittarius. So why are you not doing what I expect you to do? But I can one thing I tell you about it, if you're doing a Sagittarius, yeah, Sagittarius can't be bossed around. That's just not in their nature. Yeah, it's like cards are all flipped over the place. So I'm feeling like things might be all out of place. You may be upset about this because somebody is upset or they're up, you're upset or somebody's upset with you that they can't get you to do things the way they want you to do them. So therefore, I'm here an outlaw. <laughs> they feel like somebody here feels like they can control somebody, but I feel like they're realizing they're slowly realizing or you're slowly realizing that you can't change like fate or because somebody may have even been trying to do like love spells or some type of magic. Not for all of you. You'd know if this was you or not. This would be nothing new that I'm telling you. But somebody was trying to change fate. Like, in other words, Gemini, somebody may have felt like, okay, why does Gemini, why is Gemini not with me? Why does Gemini have to be with that other person? Gemini is supposed to be with me. Maybe y'all got kids together or maybe you got like long history, history from back in the day. Maybe you were childhood, um, high school sweethearts. Um, you know, I feel like there's some years behind many of you. There's years behind this. Yeah, everything's just messed up. It took me all that time. It should not have taken me all that time to do these cards when they were already right. So um, I feel like you may feel I'm hearing things are in disarray. Let's see, Gemini. I'm hearing Sagittarius again. Somebody's definitely dealing with a Sagittarius. Of course, all of you are not. But I'm feeling that uh, uh, strongly. This can be for your sun, moon rising, or north node, okay? So let's see, what else is going on with Gemini? Tell me more. Some of you, there could be something to do with finances as well, financial gain. 
someone doesn't, someone may feel like you're not spending the money the way you should. Like, why are you getting your hair done and your nails done when you should be getting that kid money to my kids? Well, listen, y'all, so it costs money to keep the lights on. I was a single mother for years. Okay. You got to pay the rent. You got to, it's the little things that people forget about. It's the, it's the soccer practices. It's the um, school, you know, trips, it's the book fairs and there's all these little costs. So if a, if a person wants to treat themselves, they've already been giving, you know, unless this person's just like not the kids looking dirty and they ain't doing jack for the kids, which I don't feel like this is the case. I feel this is more of control. Um, I mean, it is what it is, but Gemini anyway, so something you don't want something to end right with this completion card reversed, but, and you feel like this person may be the perfect person for you, or they feel this way about you, but it's just not destiny, right? Destiny is it's for, it just, it just isn't meant to be. Okay. Some people are here to teach us lessons and then we move on. Okay. But I feel you and I understand your pain. Libra, let's get on to Libra. Thank you so much, Gemini, for watching. I appreciate you. All right, so let's take a look at Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? What's going on with Gemini? I mean, Libra, Libra. I'm so sorry, y'all. Libra. I know y'all like, what's she saying that for? All right, Libra, what's going on with Libra, sweet spirit? What's going on, Libra, in love? In person, what's going on, Libra? Okay, so we've got the two of cups here. I'm I'm working. I'm working. Okay, we got the two of cups. We got the magician card. Ooh, is somebody trying to manifest you, Libra? Six of swords. Ooh, okay. So Libra, I feel like someone is trying to manifest you or you could be trying to manifest someone, but somebody is turning their back on this. Um, yeah, somebody's turning their back on this connection. They don't want to be in the connection anymore. Let's see why. Bear with me one moment, hon. Yeah, world card. This person could even leave, live at a distance for you, from you or somebody could be moving out or phys yeah, physically moving out physically moving out of a home. Others of you, somebody could be moving from someone to get to you, okay? So I'm getting that as well, because this person, yeah, I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Yeah, mysticism, I feel like some of y'all magic was used in some of your connections. If this was you, you would know, if this is not you, don't worry about that, just throw that on out and forget about it. But there was somebody here, and you would know this, like I said, where there was some type of magic being done on this connection a connection to keep you guys apart or um yeah someone was doing love spells to someone or was doing this to you but it didn't work statute of limitations is out of as uh, is um outdated on that and you're going forward anyway some of you are going to leave silently there's definitely something about leaving silently you're doing that to somebody and I feel like the person that's meant for you is also doing that to, for somebody, okay? And you may not even have met this person yet, but you both have very similar stories. That's why it's gonna be a perfect connection I'm here, a perfect match. So I feel like Libra, you're meeting somebody new. My little Afro keep popping off. So Libra, you're gonna meet somebody new. Um. Yeah. This is leaving. This is leaving. Somebody still loves you, though. Strongly, I'm getting that. They really want you back, but it's over. It's over. It's a cycle complete as well. I also feel like it's karma, even though I don't have um, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing clearly that they someone took you for granted. They took you for granted, so this cycle is complete, okay? So Aquarius, let's go to Aquarius. Thank you so much, Libra, for watching. I appreciate you, loves. Hope you found this to be helpful. All right, let's see what's going on, Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on with Aquarius. I'm gonna have to put a note on my door because, man, they be coming in here loud. <laughs> I have to, 
Yeah, that's gonna change soon though. That's gonna change. Anyway, so let's get into it. Aquarius, sweet spirit, what's going on with Aquarius, please? What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius, please? Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Aquarius. I feel like there has to be one moment, honey. Tell me more about Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius, you hit the jackpot. Why do I feel like you're getting love and money? Okay? Or the person you're meeting, they just came into some type of luck. I heard that. Some, like, one person here, somebody hit the lottery. Or there's some type of financial opportunity. They landed some big contract, something. This person is about to, but this person, I'm also hearing divine. So this person is divine. So that tells me that you are too, obviously, because two divine people are going to be together. I'm hearing clearly divine connection. This person, I also do feel like they feel like you are their wish fulfillment. Let's see what's going on with this person. They may be coming in really slow, though. Because something for you, Aquarius, still needs to take place. Or so you could be going to someone. Okay? But somebody here hit the jackpot somehow. They could even maybe gotten an inheritance. But there's some type of lump sum of finances coming in here. All right, Page of Swords. I definitely feel like you have been spying on this person or this person has been spying on you. Seven of Cups. Hmm, I feel like... Let me clarify that Seven of Cups. Hold on one moment. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Aquarius Sweet Spirit. Yeah, some type of confusion. Okay, so there's some type of confusion going on here. Maybe you see this person or this person sees you as a wish fulfillment, but they're just not sure how to approach you. Somebody's been through a lot. Somebody's really been through a lot here. Some of you, this person had options in the past or you had options and now you might be fearful that this person isn't going to take you back. Yeah, I'm hearing they got played, but then I feel like you got played as well or somebody got played. So if somebody tried to play you, they now got played. I'm hearing play a player. So whoever tried to play you, they now have gotten played. But I definitely feel something here where somebody had options in the past. Somebody had a lot of addiction. Somebody could have been addicted to women or men or sex or whatever. And now they're kind of like afraid or shy. Somebody's shy too. Somebody's afraid to come in because they broke somebody's heart. Somebody was partying a lot and they put this person on the back burner. And whoever this person was, when they were wounded, they're not wounded anymore. The nine of wands is reversed. So I feel like someone could even been as arrogant to be like, oh, this person's never going to go anywhere. They'll always be there for me. You know what I mean? Like, and somebody played, yeah, somebody really played somebody bad here. Ugh. Bear with me one moment. Yeah, somebody, what's going on here? If this was you, Aquarius, you're not taking this person back. Thank you. These flew out. Okay, two of swords and eight of cups. I feel like this person is still kind of confused. Some closure didn't happen just yet. So there may still be a chance. If you really want this person, I mean, I'd be praying and taking it to the divine Aquarius. Because um, I don't see that they've left completely yet. They're teeter-tottering though. I feel like you still have a chance. They're not really sure what's going on with you or you're not sure what's going on with this person that you want to go towards. Because for some of you, there's somebody you want to go towards that you feel like is wish fulfillment. I do. But I would pray about it because the cycle's not quite closed yet. Okay? There's sun here. There's some type of hope that can happen. There's some type of hope, some type of... I think just communication needs to be open. Something needs to be brought to the open so that you all can discuss, okay? 
There has to be, you're going to have to open up that throat chakra, speak up, right? If you didn't speak to this person before, that you need to speak up, okay? If this is a person dealing, dealing with you, Aquarius, they need to speak up. They got to talk. You guys have to talk in order for either you go that way, they go that way, or you guys come together. But I don't think the time is quite right yet. It's coming. It's coming. But there's something that each of you have to do first, and I don't know what that is. You probably already know it in your soul. All right, so let's keep going. Thank you so much, Aquarius. So let me see. I did uh, air signs. I did fire signs. Let's go to water signs and earth signs. I'll do water signs now. So thank you so much again, Aquarius. I appreciate you. Let's see what's going on with water signs. We'll start with Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces, please. What's going on with Pisces, please? Oops, okay. Queen of Wands and the Four Swords reversed. My goodness. All right, Pisces. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's really, really, really pissed off. Or you could be very, very pissed off and very anxious and not at rest, okay? Some of you could have found out something that someone did to you, your person, your partner did to you. Um, others of you, why do I get the feeling somebody wants to leave somebody who is just, is not a good person at all? And this person is a tyrant. They're a bully. I'm hearing that clearly. Thank you, sweet spirit. So Pisces, I definitely see you're dealing with some type of bully here. Okay, that flew out and this flew out. Are my cards reversed? Because goodness gracious, no. Okay, who we? Okay, so listen, y'all. That's too many. Give me a minute here. Yeah, you found out something. Some something's been hidden. Somebody could have been doing some type of uh negative work. Okay, if this is you, you would know. But somebody definitely was doing some type of negative work to try to keep a connection together. This person is just horrible. Yeah, I am hearing Sagittarius. Some of you could have been dealing with a very low vibrational Sagittarius who just didn't want to let you go or doesn't want to let you go or however this goes. You cross watch are dealing with um, a Pisces. But yeah, I'm hearing clearly get out of there. Get out of there. I'm hearing that clearly. Get out of there. Yeah, some of the, you, this could be the mother of your children, okay? Or some type of mother figure here. Ex-wife, something like that. I'm definitely picking up for you men. There is a biatch. All right, let's see for the women dealing with men. Let me see. But that's very clear. And that energy is coming through strong, 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 strong. Hold on, y'all. I did see this. I'll take this and I'll take this. All right. So you women, somebody wants to, somebody wants to offer you forgive. They want to offer their forgiveness, but it's fake. It's not real. Okay. Feminine Pisces. I'm just getting that. It's not right. They're there. It's not real with this facade card. Um, you also could be dealing with a tyrant or bully or a narcissist or a psychopath sociopath you know i'm not diagnosing but that's the energy that i'm feeling i don't believe what this person is saying is true trust your intuition okay especially if you're dealing with somebody who's dealing with this i'm hearing haughty so this person is very haughty they're not you can do so much better um Pisces, somebody better. The divine wants to give you somebody better, but the divine is like, I can't give you anything better until you heal. Heal, Okay, so, because if you don't, what's happening is you're taking that energy from the next connection into the next connection, and you're never going to meet what you truly do desire because you've got to get that cleansed out of you, okay? So I hope you found that helpful. Let's move on to Cancer's. Give me a moment, Cancer. I'm just doing a little mixing up me, me cards here. Mixing up my cards. 
All right, let's see what's going on with the cancers, please. Thank you, sweet spirit. What's going on with cancers? Sun, moon, rising, north node, cancers. Cancer, some of y'all could be dealing with the devil, or you've been dealing with the devil himself. I just saw the devil. It didn't come out, but I feel strongly that it was for you. All right, let's see what's going on with Cancer in Love, please. Cancer in Love. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is that? Gosh, you guys, these are, these cards flew upside down. So, okay, Cancer. So somebody that you're dealing with doesn't want you to leave, okay? And then they don't support you, though. They don't support your vision. They don't support you. They want you. This person is like, they're a bully, too. I don't know what's going on with these bullies this season. but And this person doesn't want to go within, and they don't want to heal. I feel like this person watches you a lot. They're always questioning you, where you're going, who you with, all this kind of stuff. Lots of jealousy, insecurity with this person. Um... Let's see, what are you doing though, Sagittarius? I mean, um, Cancer, maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. So Cancer, okay. So Cancer, I do see, I feel like you do feel like this God universe source is not in this connection. Um, I also feel like the divine with the judgment card is telling you, you need to make a judgment on this cancer. So something could be coming up where you got to tell somebody like, it's a no, it's a no for me. And this person may have never heard this come out of your mouth ever. So when you say this, I don't even know if I'd be around them. I'm just being honest because this person is very controlling. They like things their way. Um, if I didn't already say it, I think I did, but they watch you constantly. This is not healthy, normal behavior. Um, yeah, Cancer, this is not, this ain't it. This ain't it. So the divine is saying you need to pull the rug from underneath them. So in other words, if you got to ghost them, ghost them. If this is somebody like... Listen, all I can say is this is not, you can definitely do better. You can definitely, yeah, see, it's bittersweet. You know that this person is not right, but you feel guilty. Maybe this person has addictions and makes you feel guilty. They could have some type of, yeah, I'm also hearing clearly drug addiction, you may even feel like they're your soulmate because they've just been around so long, but your instincts know that this is not right. Okay, so I feel like, of course, Cancer, I can't tell you what to do, but if you're not with this person, um, I would definitely, I wouldn't go back near them. I can't tell you what to do, but that's just what I would not I would do. Um, and you could be doing a lot of working and ignoring uh, what's happening or you may have worked a lot to keep your mind off what this person was doing and just continue to live your life but um yeah this person mm -mm, mm -mm. okay they just i don't know if you're really serious about letting this person go 33 on the clock yeah the divine is saying you finished what you need to finish here I wouldn't tell it around them because I don't trust them. I They might snap. I'm just being honest. With cards like this, they might snap on you. And that's just the truth, honey. Be safe. Take care of yourself, Cancer, okay? Be, put you first, for real. Put you first. Nobody's going to love you better than you love you, right? And if y'all got kids, think about your children, you know? Mommy and daddy need to be around, you know, mommy or daddy, because I just, I don't trust that energy at all. All right, Scorpio, what's going on with Scorpio, sweet spirit? That just made me just want to stop reading all together. <laughs> it just made me want to just be like, <sighs> yeah, you don't miss what you got till it's gone, right? When you're ready to leave, then they want to act the fool, like what? No. <laughs> 
Act, why'd you act right when I was there? Please. And then when you take them back, they're going to act just like they were before. All right. I keep hearing Sagittarius. A lot of Sagittarius is that y'all dealing with. Okay. So let's see. Who am I doing right now? Sorry, y'all. Scorpio. Thank you. What's going on with Scorpio, sweet spirit? Sorry for the yawn. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio. All right. Three of Wands. So, Scorpio, you could be leaving someone behind or leaving something behind or traveling. And you're just focused on your travels right now. Some of y'all are single, free, and loving it. You're just focusing on your travels. You don't care about much else. Others of you, you're leaving somebody behind. Some of you, somebody could have left you and a child or children behind. That ain't right. I'm getting that as well. Let me tell you what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, there's something about some information is coming to you as well. I know that has nothing to do with love, but there is something coming in. Or there could be someone coming in, someone new coming in for you unexpectedly on your travels. You might meet somebody on your travels, and I don't think you're expecting this nor looking for this. Let's see. Seven of Cups here. Uh, Hmm. Let me clarify. Somebody could be. Hold on one moment. Yeah. Somebody who has some type of addictions and has gone through something wants to connect with you, uh, Scorpio. It could be a Sagittarius. I keep wanting to say that. Doesn't have to be, but there's definitely somebody who's dealing with one. Others of you, I feel like somebody that had thought they had better options, right? They thought that was the right way to go. That was the way my life should go. Um, looks like they're going to be humbling themselves. They've gone through a lot. Looks like they want to humble themselves and come back towards you, but I don't think they can. With this reverse, I feel like the divine's not allowing them to. Mm -mm. Because you've been putting in your work. You've been putting in your work, doing what you need to do. And some of you are highly intuitive. So I don't feel like the divine is going to let this person come towards you. Yeah, nope, nope. Divine is not going to let this person come towards you. I feel like somebody had their mind on money and they thought they were making the right the choices. But if they ghosted you, Scorpio, this person has been watching you since they left. They have not taken eyes off of you. I don't care if it's been a year. I don't care if it's been five months, two years. This person's been watching you the whole time. So now they want to come in because life didn't work quite the way they thought it was going to. And now they just want to come back. But they know they're wrong for that because they're like, well, dang, that was time that was wasted that I could have, you know, I had somebody really was willing to commit to me, you know, really... They lost out. So anyway, those of you they lost out on, you're going to be meeting somebody if you're traveling, especially anytime soon. Doesn't matter when you see this reading. It's timeless. So I'll say within the next two to three weeks, you're going to meet somebody on your travels. Okay, so be open, right? Be open. Don't shut any doors. You know, get to know people. Let them, you know, let them talk to you. Let them soften that heart. All right. So let's go now to earth signs. Let's start with uh, Taurus, sweet spirit. All of a sudden, I want to switch my cards, Taurus, to my colorful cards. Well, Sag uh, Sag Sagittarius. Are all of y'all know the damn Sagittarius? Good gosh, mighty. Something about a Sagittarius for some of y'all as well. Okay. Let's take a look here. What's going on with Taurus and love, sweet spirit? I know all of you are not. Expansion. Okay. So, Taurus, I feel right now some of you could be pregnant. Okay. Others of you, you are pregnant with ideas. Your ideas. I don't think... Um, 
you're on a different path right now. And I feel like there's an ex who is grieving. This ex, no, this is completed. I think they know. I don't know how they know, but they know. Some of you, they could be watching your social media, seeing you, how happy you are, seeing how you're doing life without them. I guess somebody thought that, and you might've been the one that broke it off and they thought, oh, they'll be back. Or you guys broke up a few times back and forth. And so you always came back, but you were, they see that, no, you're serious. You're going after what it is you want. And it's sad. It's unfortunate because this person doesn't seem to be able to, I'm here and they don't, I don't have the strength that you have, Taurus. Yeah, you're off to your destiny, sweetheart. You're going after your destiny. You're going after what it is that you want. I feel like if you were down on yourself before, you've forgiven yourself and since moved on. And that's a beautiful thing. So good things are coming up for you, Taurus. Do I see love coming in right away for you? Not really, because I feel like your focus right now is, is on your expansion. Um, others of you, if you are pregnant, you could be single. And you're just like, ah, I'm just focused on having my baby and moving on. And I'm talking about single Tauruses here, okay? Um, so you could be married and you're about to have a baby. Congratulations to you, okay? All right, so let's move on to Virgo. Thank you, Taurus, for watching. I appreciate you. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. I mean, child Virgo. I'm going to get it together. I'm getting a little tired today. I don't know why. It could be because of daylight saving time. just happened recently. <laughs> Yesterday, actually. All right, so what's going on with Virgos? We said, what's going on with Virgos in love? Okay. Okay, so Virgo, there's a cycle that um, is still open here. Let's see why. Why is that world card reverse, sweet spirit? Somebody wants to end something, but they feel trapped. Okay, so somebody here is not letting someone go or someone feels like they can't leave all right why can't you feel why do they feel like they can't leave sweet spirit someone feels like they're stuck on you yeah they want to keep giving it a try some of you could be trying to separate or finally finalize a divorce with somebody and they just want to keep trying. They're like, let's transform this. Let's change this. We can work this out. I want to win. Somebody doesn't like to lose. They feel like they're losing, but in actuality, as they continue to fight with you, it's turning you off anyway. It's making you upset. You've already accepted the fact that it's over or the other person that you're dealing with. Someone has already accepted the fact it's done. I'm okay. I'm ready to move on with it. But the other person, like I said, they want to keep working it out. But you're already on your quest. Virgo, either you or your person. You're already like, I'm okay with it. And I feel like that eclipse probably had a lot to do with it. For those of you who may have been watching not that long ago from the Taurus eclipse that we had uh, October 31st, the week prior in 2023, I think it was a Friday or Saturday. So I feel like once that happened, you were done. Okay, Virgo? No, all right, let's move on to Capricorn. Thank you so much, Virgo, for watching, okay? Capricorn. So if you're worried about Virgo, them letting go, they're going to have to. Because you're just, your mind is made up. You're going to leave. You're, you're leaving. Okay? Period. <laughs> Even I'm annoyed. All right. I just saw the tower card, Capricorn. So let's see. Is some type of tower happening for someone? I feel like, though, it doesn't feel bad to me. At least not for you. It's a restructuring. And I feel like you're open to restructure. I'm also hearing, I'm not waiting on anybody no more. Not waiting. Not waiting. Should have caught me when I was, you know, should have caught the boat when it was there. <laughs> All right. So what's going on with Capricorn, sweet spirit in love? Capricorn in love. Temperance. I feel like you're in a good, a peaceful place. A place of 
peace with yourself. I also see 444, Knight of Swords. So, hmm, I'm also hearing Sharp Tongue. I feel like you're at a place of peace, Capricorn, and you're not afraid to speak your truth. There might have been a time you were afraid to speak your truth on something to someone. Maybe you felt guilty because you had kids together. Or maybe you felt guilty for this person because maybe um, they always try to use excuse my childhood or whatever it is that they were trying to use here. Yeah, Knight of Cups. I do, this person wants to come in. These two horses are going two opposite directions. So basically what I'm getting, Capricorn, is... You're soaring on to other, other things. You are. And I feel like you're not afraid to speak your truth. I feel like you're not afraid to say what you need to say to someone. I feel like there's getting an opportunity where you're going to have to speak up to somebody. And I don't think you've ever told them officially no. Because they had a little place in your heart for whatever reason. Like I said, you could have children together. or Whatever the reason is here. Maybe you feel guilty because this person's parents died or... I don't know, but this person wants to work something out with you. They want an opportunity. They want love. They want forgiveness. Some of you, it wasn't even that they did something wrong. It's just like, you're like, we're not compatible. Like, I feel like you're more go-getter. This poor person's more laid back, more lazy. You know what I mean? You're the type that like, for example, I want to adventure. I want to travel. Let's go to, um... You know, the Bahamas, let's go here, there, you know. And they're just kind of like, oh, why we got to do that? Can't we just kind of stay here? You know, we could just go to things here. And you're like, boo, do you understand I'm Capricorn? No. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. So, yeah, this person is feeling stuck. They know either you've already been ref refusing them. Or some of you have been separated from this person for a little while and you're refusing them. But why is this person trying to show up with money to bribe you or either say, hey, I have a gift for you. You know, I have, it could be monetary. It could be an actual physical gift worth something that you can sell. But they're trying to entice you somehow. Like, but and look at the face. Look what I got here. Look what I got, Capricorn. Look what I got. Come on. So they don't know what else to offer you, Capricorn, because I also hear it also that you have it all. Now, you may not even have it all, but this is how this person views you. Like they already have it all and they're feeling judged with 44. They feel judged by you because you do have it together. So all of you, basically you have it together and your person sees you as having it together and you're leaving. You're just not going to, you're not going for this. You're not. And this person feels told, oh my gosh, I don't know what they did to you, but they feel completely stuck. They feel completely stuck because now they've changed. They may have been a player in the back in the past for some of you. They played games, took you for, uh, took advantage. And now they get it. Now they understand your worth and value. They understand your worth and value. Something has happened. They've had some type of awakening here with this miracle card, but it's a little too late. So that's what I see, Capricorn. I feel like you're moving on to other things and you're gonna meet somebody. Somebody's gonna meet somebody during their travels. Let me see what else about this person. Tell me more about this person. Capricorn that's coming in for Capricorn. Person that's coming in for Capricorn. That's too bad. They really missed it. See, and if you, I know Capricorn, you're good looking too. I can pick it up. Yeah, so you got somebody coming in. Oh, with this card here, this is your divine partner. You got a divine partner, a divine soulmate coming in. For some of you, this could be a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. Could also be if they're masculine in their Mars, if it's Venus, it, if it's a woman, it could be in their Venus. Um, but you've definitely got somebody in who's got some authority here. I feel like this person, they may be really good at numbers as well. Um, they have some type of skill 
they have some type of profession or degree behind their name but this is your person that's destined for you so the divine is going to reward you for all this crap that you went through in the past so i hope you found this helpful thank you so much for watching i hope i got every sign because if i didn't oh gosh it ain't good but thank you sweethearts i appreciate y'all um for tuning in peace love and harmony and those of you who watched the whole video well hey thank you bro, bro. so glad to have you peace love and harmony namaste